Hello and welcome to today's tutorial on pushing code to GitHub. Whether you're a beginner or just looking for a quick refresher, we've got you covered. So let's dive in. First things first, make sure you have Git installed on your machine. If you haven't, you can download it from git-scm.com and get that installed. You also need to have an account created on github.com. Now I've been writing some code and I want to push it to GitHub to share with others. So the first step I need to do is open my command line interface. Here I'm using Windows Terminal and I want to navigate to the directory of my project using command line. I've used the CD command and then inputted the path to my directory to change directory. So now let's turn this directory into a Git repository by initiating it. For this, I type in git init. Now that my project is a git repository, it's time to add the files to the staging area. The staging area tells git which files we want to include in our next commit. To do this, I type in git add dot. Now the dot at the end means all files. If you only want to add specific files, you can replace the dot with the file names. Let's check the status to make sure everything is in the staging area. To do this, I type git status. So it's now all looking good. What I'm going to do is clear my screen so we have space to commit our changes. To commit the changes, I use the git commit command. Here I've put in a commit message with a brief explanation of what these changes are. This helps me and others understand the purpose of this commit. So make sure you put something that you understand for this commit. The next thing I want to do is name this branch of code that I'm working with. So I type in git branch dash m and then main. Now comes the exciting part. We're pushing our code to GitHub. However, first of all, we need to create a new repository on github.com. Here inside the website, we can click on new, which creates a new repository for us. I state who the owner of this repository is, and it's me in this case, and I give my repository a name. I can ignore the other boxes for now and scroll down to the bottom and click on create repository. Now that my repository has been created, I can copy this URL that has been generated as I need that to be able to get my code from my local machine to GitHub. Back in the command line, let's add that remote repository. So I type in git remote, add origin and paste in my URL. Please remember to replace the URL with your own URL. Now we are ready to push our code. And to do this, I type in git push dash u origin main. This command pushes your code to the main branch on GitHub. Now, if this is the first time you've pushed code from your machine to GitHub, you will be prompted with a sign in box. Once you've completed the sign in process, the files will be pushed up to that remote repository inside GitHub. And if we go back into GitHub, we can now see that those files are there as well. And there you have it. You've successfully pushed your code to GitHub. Remember, this is just the beginning of your Git journey. Explore more commands and features to become a Git pro. Happy coding, folks.